Hello everyone, welcome to Travel Guide. This episode is about food and we have Noah to join us. Hey guys, I'm uh, Noah Lee from uh, Singapore and I'm actually a Singaporean living in Shenzhen right now. I have uh, my business doing uh, skill models and I am also a part-time uh, YouTuber. Yeah, today Noah and I will check this restaurant. You can see the name. The name is called Rongchang Sanghui Ef. This restaurant is about goose. Nearly every dish is made by goose, and the goose cuisine is the intangible cultural heritage of Dongchang. So, let's check it out. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Look at this! What a fancy feast! Actually, all the meat dishes are made by goose. We can check one by one. Just now, we showed you how to make this dish. This dish is called meatball made by goose. Actually, this one big meatball equals one goose. Impressive. And uh, you can see this. This is called braised goose with multiple seasonings. This one is. Eatable goose intestines with baked peppers, so it must taste spicy and maybe kind of numb. This is made by air-dried goose, and you can dip some spicy or chili, and I'm sure it must taste spicy. <laughs> This one has something from turtle. It is made by goose and turtle. It's stewed also. And this one, this is soup, goose soup. Actually, this is a very eye-opening experience for me because it's my first time to see so much dishes, so many dishes made by goose. It has different way to make it. I can't wait have a taste of these dishes. Later, I will tell you my favorite dish. It's a very big bowl. Thanks, Nick, for bringing me to experience this uh, great goose cuisine. You know, I find it really interesting that a whole entire goose can be used to make a uh, like a meatball. Yeah. All right. And uh, you know, everything here basically is done with goose, including the buns, the sausages, and all these waxed uh, version. And then you have some goose intestines as well. So and goose feet. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's really very interesting concept to use the entire goose to create an entire. You know, list of menu. Indeed, I also it's my first time to see this kind of mm. cuisine. Which one do you like yeah, best? I prepared, I prepared my picture. I, I like the the braised one the best. Ah, braised one. The braised one. Yeah. Do you like eat it without the oil sauce? Um, oil spicy see, sauce. When I tried it without the without without the spicy sauce, it tasted exactly like what I would uh, have eaten back in Singapore. The braised duck. Braised duck. Right, so in Singapore we have this braised duck, braised duck rice, braised uh, braised duck uh, porridge. So that immediately reminded me of that particular dish. And then once you dip it into the spicy sauce, then it becomes a totally unique Chongqing style dish with the spiciness. So yeah, and definitely the buns is something interesting because uh, I'm a fan of the char siu pao. Give me char siu pao for breakfast anytime, and I'll have it. And then this one is a goose pao, which I've never had before. Very unique, and uh, yeah, for guys who are, you know, coming to uh, Rongchang here, is definitely to try this restaurant and try out the unique uh, buns with goose, as well as the, the huge yeah. uh, meatball. Although you got to of course bring a few friends with you to join it. Otherwise, I don't think you can finish it by yourself. That's very big, <laughs> and you can only eat this kind of meatball here in this restaurant in Rongchang. If you guys are interested in goose or goose feast, come and check this place. This is the end of this episode. See you guys.